Okay, so number five, intercostal spaces. So in our previous video, when we were talking about the bony uh, surface markings, we discussed about the costal cartilages and the bony part of the ribs. Right now, we're going to be talking about the space in between. So we're talking about these spaces here. So the space in between the ribs, this is the intercostal spaces. And the number of the intercostal space is identified by the number of the superior rib. So since we know that this is the sternal angle, and we know that this is rib number two, so we know that this over here is intercostal space number two. This is intercostal space number three. This is four. This is five. This is six, seven, eight, and nine. So as I told you, the counting starts from ICS number two at the sternal angle. So the significance of uh, the intercostal spaces, we use the intercostal spaces uh, primarily for heart sounds. The aortic valve is found in the second ICS, in the second intercostal space on the right lateral margin of the sternum. So right here, This is the aortic valve, okay? And in the second intercostal space on the left lateral margin of the sternum, we have the area for the pulmonary valve. So right over here, we can hear the pulmonary valve. And then the mitral valve can be heard in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. So remember, we talked about the midclavicular line. It would be going through right over here is the mitral valve. So just as a review, we already talked about the area for the tricuspid valve. And the tricuspid uh, valve, as I told you before, that although in this bony model you can see that there is an intercostal space between the fifth and sixth rib, many times there isn't really a big space over here. So they're merged. So we would hear the sound of the tricuspid valve right over here. And we can also use these uh, intercostal spaces to identify other things uh, to mark surface markings. Let's say, for example, if somebody has a stab wound, we would say that this is a stab wound in, let's count, what number is that? Two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth intercostal space. We have a stab wound in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. So here you can see uh, the body. Now, how would we identify the heart sounds now, now that you don't see the ribs? So you're going to find first the suprasternal notch. Here's your manubrium, okay? And now you know that you can feel the sternal angle right here. Now that you know where the sternal angle is, now you find the second rib. So you found the second rib, now you go to all of these spaces. So this is space number two, and we have space number three, four, five, and this is where we hear, we can hear the sound of the aortic valve. So we palpate on the same side on the left, and now we can hear the pulmonary valve. 
And if we go further down, over here, in the fifth and sixth intercostal spaces, we can hear the tricuspid valve. Okay, and uh, right here we can see the midclavicular line, and just medial to the midclavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. This is where we have the mitral valve. And let's say our patient, he has a stab wound. Our patient has a stab wound right over here. What we need to see now is, where is it located? So here is rib number six, rib number seven. So we would see that this is in the sixth intercostal space.